From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, black and gold fans are everywhere. That's right. Just like in East Beach in Northern Virginia, where we find Jose and Cookie Palacios. Hi, hey, Jose and Cookie. Hey. hey, guys. How did you guys become such big Steelers fans? I am born and raised in Pittsburgh. I graduated from Westinghouse in 64. And we love Pittsburgh and we love the Steelers. We love the Pirates and the Penguins. We are Steeler, Penguin, Pirates, Fred. Woo -woo. And so what happened when I came into the marriage, it was like my wife slapped me in the face. And when I came back, it was all about black and yellow. That's it. That's it. That's we had to get in line with the family. Now, who are your favorite players? I'm Palomaru. Um, I'm Buck. I'm Terry Bradshaw. All the old line, too, but I love Palomalo and Hines Ward. Mine all the time, 24-7. Hines Ward is my player. I represent it. I have it in my garage. I go everywhere and I tell everybody about my boy. That boy bring me the best ever, ever. Ever, ever joy in my heart. I love hind words. Now, Jose, as you know, it's Hispanic Heritage Month. So not only are you repping the 412, but you're repping Hispanics everywhere. Are there a lot of Hispanic fans supporting Pittsburgh sports? Yes, we have a lot of Mexican people. A lot of Mexico, my family. I I kind of brainwash my grandkids, my little, my little grandkids, they're crazy. Jose, uh -huh. <laughs> We really appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Thank you all. Go Steelers. There you go. Go Steelers. Vamos, Aceleros. Growing up in Pittsburgh, you have no choice but to love sports. Uh, that's why it's always black and gold. It was always about sports. Um, and also the consistency of, you know, the Steelers, Penguins, Pirates in the same color. So that helped. We have the Yinzer steak sandwich, which is kind of a riff between a Philly cheese steak and a Fermanis. We kind of made a love, it's like they had a love child. We uh, start our cheesesteak here, which is better than Philadelphia cheesesteak, we think, around here. They open a jar of Cheese Whiz and put it on something they get frozen and make a sandwich out of it. They probably buy their bread frozen, too. So we start off with uh, a short rib, which uh, we trim and shave by hand, seasoned with olive oil and salt and pepper. So we start that on the grill. Uh, we use fresh local bread from Breadworks and then a real steak instead of little thin slices of stuff and we make a cheese sauce, like Gouda cheese sauce, so it's not, it's all fresh Pittsburgh. We're going to add a little bit of Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce for flavor. Not much. Gonna toss that around. Two slices of provolone cheese. We chew short rib, and I think other people should chew short rib because you get a richer, deeper flavor in the meat. Horseradish sauce coleslaw. And we're gonna put a few fries. Finally, we're gonna finish with our beautifully cooked short rib. And finally, we got our ladle of Gouda cheese sauce, which is a little green onion on top, just to give it some color. There you have it, the Yinzer cheesesteak at the Warren. I don't even really know what cheese whiz is. I ate it as a kid, but you know, as an adult, we realize it's not the smartest move. Uh, kind of like Philadelphia fans. You can't tell me there's a better cheesesteak in Philly than the Yinzer cheesesteak in Pittsburgh. I'm Erica from Uniontown, and I love Pittsburgh so much that I put skin in the game. I just wanted something that was like true to my heart, and I was like, I want Pittsburgh. I got, you know, the Steelers and the Pirates. I'm a true Pittsburgh Pirate fan, Pittsburgh Steelers fan, Pittsburgh Penguin fan. So that was my dream tattoo. My favorite Pirate player is Andy Van Slyke. I think I liked him more of his looks rather than his uh, ability, but. My goal is once I gain enough gumption, is to continue it on my left arm and get the penguin. And I do want to continue it with the red trolley for the incline. 